All right, everybody, it's Daniel Lee here, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about the post purchase, guys. Listen, I, I'm excited because first of all, we've we've finished we've finished the pre purchase funnel. You know, we've gone through things like welcome series. Um, you know, basically, I I I always started this video like this. Uh, you know, my first video in the playlist. I laid out the whole funnel. Then I I walk you through the welcome series, the importance of the first email. Uh, second video was a uh, how to reopen, uh, how to resend to non-openers of that first email in the Welcome Flow series. Welcome Flow series, the whole funnel, side of Benjamin. Uh, we've talked about the browser Benjamin. We've gone through card of Benjamin, browser Benjamin, and uh, that restock, auto stock flow. Little trick there. Um, I, I taught you, right? If you remember, comment down below. Get everybody excited because, guys, listen, uh, to date we're talking about the price purchase. The next step of the funnel, right? People who already bought from you, now what do you do? Well, uh, I have a like, little notes right here, but basically the first thing I wanna point out here is that you need to get some basics, right? Get some essentials. The first thing, before we dive into anything, like thanking them for the purchase, first thing we gotta deliver, right? So the first thing we do is the, um, is the order confirmation, right? I just put, pulled out the notes right there just to not forget them. So this is the order confirmation. Order confirmation, and uh, guys, I I'm not gonna go like so deep into this because it's you know it depends on the brand, but just a little touch on that. Uh, if we go right here, uh, it's lagging a little bit because my computer does not like OBS apparently. Uh, but uh, yeah, I want to link out this this uh, this uh, article from Clavio directly, and if you like it. You can just uh, you know uh, scroll through and find some helpful content there, but it's pretty pretty helpful uh, in terms of like creatives and like what those uh, order confirmation emails look like, right? So you know uh, the the main the main point I want to lay out here is that it's supposed to be branded, right? You can just like send out like plain text. Uh, it should be like on point on brand. So that's like the one thing that I want to like point out here. Second thing is the thank you thank you email uh and don't worry about that we're gonna skip this right now because for this minute i mean because uh in this video i want to go over this one uh more extensively now the third one is shipping confirmation right so the shipping confirmation uh again i have a let's let's finish that basically shipping confirmation is like 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 you know uh, sorry, I'm already, I'm already, uh, I'm already tripping up a little bit. Uh, shipping information is, you know, you send them uh, the email confirming them that that they, you know, they shipping is secure. They don't have to worry about anything, and uh, it's on its way. And I also want to show you the article that I found here. Basically, shipping confirmation is, some, uh, it's gonna look something like this. I found this one actually uh, really appealing here. You know, from Mail Charts. Uh, sorry, not from Mail Charts, from Native. You know the the order, and if you remember, uh, if you know them right, the company like sold it for a hundred million, insane. Um, the, the great podcast, uh, it was like Sarah Deach or something, but there was a great podcast. The guy was like, I mean, that that's just like, you know, it's it's a great example. Like the guy uh, bootstrapped that company and sold it like for a hundred million to, I I don't remember who, but like some monopoly in the, uh, you know, skincare kind of like uh, industry. But basically, you know, like. Uh, your bar native deodorant was gently pulled out by our team of experts and placed on a golden trim pillow um, stuff stuffed with the finest fiber known to a man you know that type of like language really like fires people up so apparently it works so uh now the fourth email is optional the, the reason i still optional but this is like how to use emails and this is one of my, one of my favorites because if you remember from the uh last not last like pr Pre pre uh, pre um, final video in the pre purchase. I have talked about extensively on how important this is to educate your customers on how to use your product and how to kind of like finesse that in uh, your advantage. Not like you know through like deceiving customers or just like like manipulation. It's just like uh, you know how to educate your customers on how to use your product so that you can uh, basically not guessing. Because again, if you're guessing, you fucked, right? Uh, how to like uh, educate customers just so that you know um, how what like when what what time to send your emails uh, for them to repurchase that product or even pull them uh, you know closer to that subscription which is um, you know if you sell that product 
something like you know dog i don't know oil or you sell like cbd oil for dogs where you sell like uh i don't know um dog treats right like uh, we're doing right here right or you're selling i don't know whatever the food the the uh maybe some toys or something even toys like not to like um re-upped like you know uh, people don't don't buy them like too uh, too, uh, too often yeah so the reason i said this optional is because uh if, again if you're selling like a dog mattresses sheets or just you know something that like people don't buy too often it's, it's probably not gonna work because well apparently like nobody needs like too many mattresses uh or buy too many mattresses you know every month that doesn't make sense now the fifth one is the delivery confirmation so delivery confirmation is is like the the one that you hit your customers like hey you delivered the product right they basically did the i've uh, been waiting for it for so long uh again so, like super on point I actually have it here uh the last email from mail charts i found it like pretty pretty cool one also uh, you know box tracker like this one is really really nifty in terms of like creativity and uh it really like it sticks out uh, let's just say that right and then uh they even upsell you you know keep all the pieces from your uh you know when your box and pay only 150 uh, 150 bucks all right so they push you to something else uh right here but um i'm not sure what they're selling but like the email uh like the delivery confirmation email should look something like this if you want to be on point right to kind of like six out i actually like this uh, box tracker but guys um going into the sixth one is reviews and we're going to talk about this right now extensively so don't worry about that reviews and the seventh one the seventh um actually it's on the last it's upsells <coughs> sorry upsells cross sales guys don't 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 get like too hung up on like upsells cross sales down sales you gotta sell like like look at the amazon what they do right they don't upsell you or cross sell you down sell you they just sell you based on what you liked and so that's what you're gonna do with your customers right if they bought a you know duck leash for example right of a where if they, they if they're like about a like a cat leash with the rgb that that, that exists you know uh, or you know dog harness or whatever it is right whatever it might be you gotta like upsell them like logically okay if they if they buy a leash maybe they want i don't know the dispenser you know for their dog to picking up their turds right uh something like that so don't don't get too like hang up and like too perplexed with this upsells down sales you gotta sell logically right they bought this Okay, the bottom. Look, let's just say you're selling whatever. Um, so let's just say you sell a watch, whatever. If you sell a watch, maybe it makes sense to sell them with a you know different, um, different uh, what's the, what's the word? Jesus, I forgot. Different uh, wristband, right? Something something like that with different color or a uh, different model or mm, different color, like different just model, the same model of the, of the different color, something like that, right? So, um, something that makes sense. Not just, you know, app sells, down sells. Don't get, like, too, like, uh, technical with it. So, uh, the win back, uh, we're going to talk about this in in the next video. Because this, I don't, I don't like, you know, make it too long. Uh, so, win back. And the last one is Sunset Unengaged. Right? Basically, people who uh, They, they just on the list they just spend your money they bought some product right three months ago they're not buying anything they're just they're just you know they're digging around you know uh they don't want to buy anything they 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 ignore you so you want to suspend their accounts don't delete their accounts suspend their accounts because it's still data data is precious in our day so guys uh right now i want to talk about the in this video about the thank you and about the review because i think those are really important and then in the in the next video i'm going to talk about the upsell because i believe that uh, i should talk about this more and the win back um i will have a video about 100 percent so since i engage as well uh basically everything except again uh these are except this ones right so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna talk we're not gonna talk about this because again it's a it's a, um on point so it's like unbranded you know it's it's 
I'll just link the articles to look at them. I don't have to like grab them for you because you know every burn is different. I can guess that for you. But those are like transactional emails. Uh, you can set them up and check your Shopify. You basically, go to settings, go to uh, notification, and then you set up these things uh, right there. But that that being said, guys, uh, I want to wrap this up and switch to. I mean, wrap this up this intro uh, and switch to the uh, Clavio Shopify, and I'll show you everything about thank you page and reviews, and I'll see you there. 12 seconds later. All right, guys, first thing first, before we dive right in, um, we'll get into this, but first, I wanna show you what our expectations should be and where we're basically aiming for with this customer thank you uh, email series, because if you don't have your intentions, if you don't have a clear path where you're going with those emails, if you're just sending them, uh, you're fucked, right? Because, <laughs> you know, uh, idiot with a plan will outperform genius without it that's just like the best saying uh that i come out with this in the five seconds maybe it was stupid but again guys the main intentions uh for this series of emails is first of all what we're going to do here um our main goal is we are reducing buyer's remorse buyer's remorse uh if you don't know what it is you know if when somebody like buys some let's just say mattress or whatever right and they regret it they regret it really really painfully and uh it is not because they did not want it or they don't need it just because you you are like you you just like treating like crap if you treat people like people like crap and it happened with me right if i don't like if i don't see the like, good emails or sometimes like you know emails are delayed or um thank you page like th thank you email series is not even set it up i refund I refund right away because like I think it's just a scam or uh, something wrong. It, like in my mind, if I don't get this email right now, it's something wrong. And I refund it. I I, I refund it like like this uh, many times because companies forget about this. Uh, I don't know how, but they forget about it, right? Uh, so I don't like that. Um, I feel like I did something wrong, honestly. So that's how it feels. So that said, um, for idiots like me, uh, you will reduce our return rate, right? Uh, it also builds brand loyalty. Uh, it creates customer with a higher lifetime value and average order value as well. And so guys, speaking about the numbers, 352% more open rate. For me, it is a it is not just numbers. It is a, a window of opportunity here. And I'll show you in a second what, what I mean by that. But basically, here is my plan for this email. This is how I approach a uh, thank you email series and what I'm trying to get out of it. Because again, guys, we're always trying to get... Uh, something out of something right at the end of the day you're running an e-commerce business the competition is crazy right like like competition is really tough and you better be good you better be great and um you better be worth them worth it them right uh, as they say to compete and uh yeah you don't want to compete as peter thiel said but it's e-commerce come on like you, you you're still competing like it's impossible to not compete uh but i'll show you how to compete uh effortlessly so the first thing not the first thing the first goal the main goal actually here is to uh as i said right uh right here reduce bias remorse the way you do this is by expressing appreciation for your customers by saying thank you uh you know this bonds your brand and reduces bias remorse as i said previously now keep them uh retained by providing additional incentives Basically, what I mean by that is giving them coupon. You still, you still need to keep them retained, right? Yeah, they bought it. So what? The sale, sales never end. Sales never end. Remember? Um, yeah, you bought them. Okay, maybe you're doing like you're doing a rush, but even like you know, coupon for the next not like 24 hours, 30 days. How about 30 days? Right? You know, give them like 15% for 30 days. They bought from you, guys. These guys. These shoppers, these buyers, those are buyers. You hook them up out of Facebook ads or whatever, like you're running your ads on. You paid money for them. They buy. This guy, this guy have money. And give them incentives. Don't rush, but give them like 30, 30 days coupon or something. That's that's what I mean by that. And uh, yeah, don't forget about the VIP customers who have purchased more than two times. You'll be needing different message for them. That's just, you know, uh, about the technical stuff. But basically... Again, guys, uh, email one. If you're going right here, uh, is if you go through, through the whole, through the whole. Let me actually zoom out a little bit. If we go through the whole funnel here, don't don't like fret. It's not complicated to set it up. It's uh, pretty easy. Um, the first email here, the first email right here. For those who did not open, we've talked about this uh, in the first of the first videos that I've ever uh, shot in the, uh, for this email series. And then the second email, that's it. That's a little it. Um, 
I said three emails, but yeah, no, I, I didn't say three emails. Uh, you might think it's three emails, but it's actually email one, email one for nine openers with a just different subject line in email three. Uh, you thanking them for, you know, taking that action and uh, providing them that additional discount that I've talked about, right? So that being said, guys, uh, let's dive into the that let's dive into the uh yeah the app sale we'll talk about this later let's dive into the clavier here i'm gonna zoom in with a hundred percent and so the first thing you want to do the first of all uh, of all things you want to do is you want to well first of all uh go to clavio browse ideas find this th uh customer thank you new uh and versus uh, uh, recurring or returning whatever and uh the first thing is filter right the way i approach filters is like exclusions if you know anything about facebook ads and you should right uh if you're in e-commerce if you don't know you know if you if, if you're in e-commerce and you don't know uh, anything about like the funnels with paid traffic i'm not sure if you need this video anyway but basically the flow filters is like exclusions right so uh cancel order zero times since on this flow is our exclusion because we want people only who place an order and those who did not cancel that order that's really important one because this flow only hits when people place an order. That's uh, that's how it works. Now, autonomy of it is we wait one day, we go to conditional split, it'll be populated automatically, just like choose the right flow. Then somebody who has placed an order equals one overall time. What it means is that somebody placed an order once, uh, and yes, it'll be like true, and no, it'll be like not true which means that they place two times and that's already a VIP customer and the message for them is gonna be a little bit different, not too different, but still different. And I'll show you in a second one. All right guys, a <laughs> little technicality is there, my camera just fell down, you know, shit happens, but we, yeah, we're still rolling. So let's dive into the first email, uh, I hit preview. So yeah, as I said before in the slides, you wanna reduce the bar more. and the way you crafted this email is just, I don't, I don't recommend using like creatives or anything like that. Just use blend copy, uh, you know, it works better. Plan, you know, just, you know, just something like this. Uh, it's way, way, way better. So uh, the first thing guys is the, you know, of course the brand and uh, yeah, Coyote. So if you don't know what it is, uh, is it is my agency, right? And we're serving pet brands. And if you have a pet e-com brand and you're making at least 300K per year in revenue, uh, I don't think like there is something you should consider other than coyotes because we're just like actually specialized in serving a patty brand. So this is literally by far the best agency that you ever find on internet everywhere. So that's that little uh, little promotion here. But again, you can uh, follow, follow the link down below to schedule a call or you can hit me up on IG or Facebook. It's then lit, that would be sweet. So welcome to the family, you know, the pretty, pretty much uh, self-explanatory headline. Uh, and so let, let me read the copy here. So on behalf of the entire team of Coyotes team, right, we wanted to thank you for your first purchase from us yesterday. Uh, if you have any feedback, again, guys, by Coyotes, I mean like, I'm just like selling trees. I just set up this dummy store. If you don't, if you just like watching this video uh, just now, I have this dummy store of, uh, you know, this this doc trees that I set up just for this like email series. So we're kind of like taking, the, uh, kicking, taking that like, almost as if I'm selling those treats, right? Selling those luck treats to the customers. And by here it is, I mean my brand, uh, which I'm selling this under. So, uh, you know, but for you, you just replace Coyotes with your name. Again, I'm not saying to copy the email, but take the framework, the same, the same framework, take the skeleton and then th uh, think through how you would craft this for, for, your, uh, for your company. But basically, you know, I'm helping the entire team, you know, you basically wanna mention your team or, uh, if you're writing this from yourself, that'll be even better because it bonds more, right? Like just from the particular person on the team, um, kind of give that like importance, you know, it basically shines the, um, that like specialty on your customer that you wrote specifically for them. Even though they know uh, it's automated, it still feels a little bit different. Uh, in percentage, just like little things like this build the whole picture, right? As we all know. So, that said, you know, if you have any feedback for us, just wanted to ask you something, don't hold back, or reply to this email. Lastly, uh, you can follow, follow us on uh, Instagram and F, uh, and Facebook. If you haven't already, for every photo review with our product, we may feature you uh, in our stories, let alone constant uh, you know giveaways to our uh, customers at the top of the list. Now it's time to train your pop, Coyotes fam. Are you loving it? 
want to get featured tech tech heroes so basically what we um our intentions for this email we're thanking them but at the same time we want uh them to tech us right so they bought a product right we're thanking them and so what you're going to get out of this is that like again um it hits after one day right somebody placed an order right uh hit one day but still you can actually incentivize them to tech you not just tech you right oh you know follow if i just say like you can follow this on ig or facebook that's what most brands do that's they say the shit and then they leave the email right and then like they say oh, okay this fam i'm not gonna do that there's no reason i'm gonna i have my like i have my time and i don't want to go on your stupid facebook um or instagram page and tag you right but for every photo review with our product we may feature you in our store in our stories okay i'll be featured in your instagram or let alone constant give away, um, giveaways to our customer at the top of the list so which means that like those who didn't buy are not entered uh you know they do not enter this uh giveaway special uh special offer right i buy the product i do i feel special i'm gonna go to instagram and actually do something that we want me to do just give me that incentive right that's what fires people up not just you know follow the links you want to incentivize people again guys people don't you know smash likes under this video if you don't if you don't incentivize them to do this right or leave comments for example hey you can leave me a comment on what video you want to do uh, about the clavier if you have any problem let it out there and i'll make the video on youtube specifically about that prog uh, problem that would be way better incentive to you know leave the comments under my video right uh opposed to like you know other youtubers that ask you know have the algorithm well i don't care about how uh you know algorithm works i don't care i'm the consumer like i don't care so let's dive uh uh over dive over let's dive into the second email which is for repeat customer mean uh, meaning that people who bought twice from you and so essentially what it looks like uh this so i put this um i put this uh creative here i made it in canva pretty quick but you know thank you two times because they bought two times right uh, your loyalty means a lot hey daniel here i saw your purchase popped up there you go just wanted to say thank you again guys keep in mind i would send this email from my personal account like daniel at like coyotes.com or yeah daniel this is actually my uh, actual email uh but um yeah like if you have it again if they opted in you're not gonna burn your account you you only burn your gmail account or any uh g suite account or space account or whatever it's like now called uh you know google changed their uh changed their name uh pretty often but th this is how you burn your account maybe with cold emails i get it but when people opt in explicitly like like letting you um you know they give you the permission to email them uh you're not gonna burn your account don't so don't worry about that um you can actually send uh those emails from uh this account or just set up like different one you, if, you know, for example you feel like coyotes.com you can just be like coyotes.co uh, or coyotes.us or coyotes.canada whatever uh you are at so basically again hi daniel here i saw your purchase popped up a day ago just wanted to say thank you you see i'm like i'm almost like talking with a person right now right it's just like a friend you know sent to friend email um kind of thing right kind of copy nothing feels better than seeing and knowing that your trust is with your business not once but twice thank you i can express how grateful i am to you if you have any questions please reach out to me via this use it to me not to us to me feels a little personal and so you actually uh the, bo the bond happened more uh, you know more more quicker and more stronger that's what i should i should have mentioned uh i love to hear from you for healthy pups daniel stop shop tr uh, trending uh yeah you know just uh, give them back to the site maybe they want to purchase something else guys these emails they don't have an intention of like driving sales but they do sometimes uh if you like put the buttons just put the buttons you, you might think it's not unlogical but common sense are not so common nowadays right people still buy these things so i don't know like but i've seen like these emails actually you know they don't drive like crazy amount of money but they drive you like thousand bucks easy like you don't even try it right so um right here with the conditional split it doesn't doesn't come by the default uh for it doesn't come by the default for 
you know this uh, uh club purchase here but though what uh, but you can set it up like this you basically go to conditional split right um you go here conditional split you drag it on uh you put you know uh, what someone has done or hasn't done person has open email right with Clavio message basically message is your copy uh, in creative if you have it uh in this case we have a creative in this case we just have copy right just a plain text uh message is your copy equals this code don't fret it's basically if you go to edit you see this uh code right here this is the code of that specific think of this like not like the the copy itself and like the content uh, of this email but the um the tab itself right so the uh the this tab right not like um not we only exist because of you but new customer thank you you know basically this tab is responsible for that code and that tab contains that uh, content content is message that tab that contains that message is that code so i hope it makes sense if it does uh, if it doesn't just rewatch what i just said it makes sense uh, i know it so the purpose of this trick not trick uh conditional split is again as i said in the previous uh, even the previous videos right the first emails tend to drive the most amount of revenue so what you're going to do here is you're going to resend this email one more time for those who did not open right because if they, if they if they did open it'll it'll skip and in seven days they will be hit with um uh with this with this email it's a token not a toke token um yeah and this is as well you got to check your copy all the time uh so basically what you're going to do here is clone this email and then uh place it right here same content different subject line i'm overexposed right now i'm overexposed right now so uh that's what you're going to do basically again the same email uh same subject line now in seven days uh again unless if they if they if they open it they'll be hit with the second one if they didn't uh, it'll hit them with this one resend them uh, with a different subject line and then in seven days also hit them with uh with this one so uh second email is the same thing applies to this one second email is the same for both it does not uh it does not differentiate it's absolutely alike and so you know the subject line is a token of gratitude that's what i've talked uh, talk about here in our slides right because yeah thank them for buying from you by providing additional discount and that would be this sorry there would be this discount so if we actually let me let me yeah i should have previewed but um can i preview from here okay come on dude uh but yeah basically yeah we don't have to preview here uh there is no creative there is no images it's just a plain text hi daniel right that you want to put that meta tag here with the default if you know if in some case you didn't get their uh, uh name it'll fall back on just you know hero or hey pet lover or something like that as, to, as a token of our gratitude for your first purchase we wanted to hook you up with a special discount so here's a coupon for 14 percent off your next order just use the exclusive code below at a checkout and save 14 percent on us don't wait around though this code it's only good for the next 30 days you see not like 48 hours don't get like people like really weird right because um you know it doesn't make sense like for somebody to buy a product and then you hit them with like another email hey buy something more and more and more you'll just like burn out your audience you don't want to do that because people are going to unsubscribe and uh g suite will find your place in a spam folder uh or promotional so that's basically it for the uh for the thank you for the thank you flow now i want to dive into the uh i'm not going to talk about the pop sales for now because i'll, I'll specifically make the video for them because it's just another topic it's a pretty big one customer reviews so what do i mean by customer reviews so the main goal here is to get them to share how great your product is right because again those thank you page it, it's just like you know it go, go, goes to our go to our facebook go to our thank you thank you thank you here's discount go to our uh you know ig tag is right here they got a product you gotta know that they got a product it's on their hand they got their fun, final uh delivery confirmation email they're set they're with it with their product in hands they're ready to go they were using it 
So the main goal here is to get him to share how great, unless it's great. If you if your product crap, forget about like <laughs> basically your business, right? Uh, but if your product is great, uh, it'll work for you, right? You have an open window of opportunity to educate them how on 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 the product they bought, right? How to use it, you know, just so that you know. Uh, you set up this basic expectations how to use this product right because if they know how to use it you know how uh, or how long it lasts for you know if, if, if it's a if it's an oil for dogs you already know that like okay if, uh, if they're gonna use like a two droplet per serving two days uh, per day it'll be like 60 uh, droplets per month 60 droplets and my bottle only lasts for like 40 so you'll hit them up maybe like in uh what if, if we do the math here so 60 60 is a whole month this is 15 days so something around like yeah we also want like uh uh you know within like the threshold right so you want to like hit them up with advance maybe like in two weeks you still uh you will hit them up with the next email uh for replenishing what they already bought unless they bought a package here right like multiple oils uh so that said uh you need to get them to provide the valuable content as well as your community right so email one provide education if needed how to use your product email to provide review requests you know bonus get them to leave a uh, review on the on your facebook ads right it really helps there because if you have a lot of like again uh you can either so here's the thing if you're running facebook ads of course you can do uh What's the quote? I forgot. The CT. There's a there's a DT, uh, dynamic creative test, and there's an other one which is like manual test or CTI, CT. I forgot what it's called, but like basically what it is. Um, if you know anything about Facebook ads, uh, a dynamic creative test. It allows you to test multiple creatives, multiple copy, but it does not allow you to um repost like they say like to keep everything with the same ad so that you know uh, you're basically losing that social proof and losing those likes with a uh, manual testing right you can't keep social proof right because you basically can uh take those similar already tested post uh, tested ads and got them through through another um you know spin of testing so that you keep that social proof you keep those likes you keep those engagement you keep this uh comments the same thing applies uh right here but it's a little bit different you literally literally can drive uh your customer reviews not on the some stupid third-party sites but they're on facebook imagine giving them a link of your facebook app where they can comment of how great or even better send a picture how how great your product is just imagine how this would help your um, your ads. Like imagine if I if I find your ad and there's like you know 1.2k comments with uh, people loving their product with their with their with their um you know uh, p pictures with them standing with the product and they're loving it. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sold without even like copy. Those social proof will hit me up so great oh my god it's just so powerful this is how you can do it and i'll show you in a second how but third email is additional product review request uh social media following right if you want to grow your following on instagram or facebook or pinterest or snapchat or whatever it is tiktok uh you get uh you 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 get it you yeah, so you, this is this flow. Uh, you basically drive this uh, this traffic, right, of people who like your product. Incentivize them, right? Don't just ask them. It doesn't work. You gotta incentivize people to do that, and I'll show you how to do it. So, uh, guys, my th <laughs> I, my voice is just like almost gonna get hurt right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to product review, like browse ideas, product review flow. And then you want to find this uh, flow, right? It's called product review. That it's just pretty simple. Uh, you find this. You put one filter here. Uh, it's probably gonna be on autopilot. Yeah, it'll be set up on autopilot. Basically, uh, fulfill order zero times since starting this flow, uh, just so that you know people don't like get crossed and uh, you know you keep everything uh, organized there, right? So if they fulfill the order, they don't fulfill the, like the other order. So because we're gonna hit them uh, with a different flow. Now, uh, with 14 days, 14 days, so it, it is enough to uh, ship the product, 
if you're dropshipping, I mean, uh, this is not channel for dropshippers, but uh, again, the, the the shipping should be within even less than, uh, again, 14 days is not a shipping. 14 days is like, the, you ship like within like four days and then they get to use the product and they, they kind of get familiar with it. And now in 14 days, when I hit them with this, um, uh, with this flow, basically like when I educate them on how to use the product, right? Because, you know, uh, you want to set up those expectations, right? So the product arrived and so now, how many treats? Uh, how many treats you should use? You want to like really like kind of give them that, um, you know, that education on how many treats uh, they should use. Because if you know how many treats they should use, again, I'm selling treats right here. Uh, that's because that's why uh, you know when to hit them with replenish or replenishment flow or reapp flow or wh whatever you want to call it. So essentially, what it looks like is this. Again, copy guys. We, we don't want to hit them with like too many images here. It's just copy right from um, again. It's a, it's a, it's a dummy. It's a dummy email that I set it up. But again, your company email, or better yet, your name in your company email. Uh, subject like how many trees you should use. Hi Daniel. Again, the meta tag that works like that. I'm, I'm basically writing to myself, right? Uh, it uh, it's Daniel uh, from Coyotes. Uh, while you wait for your order to arrive. I thought it could be helpful if I send you some of my top tips on how to train your dog properly so you can get the most out of Coyote's treats. You see, like, you're just setting up those expectations. So first thing first, uh, and again, like, you, you can pause the copy, I'm not gonna read it because it's video, like, I don't want this video to be too long, uh, but basically, you, you, like, give insights on how to use, like, basically, you know, the treats that you should take, like, 10% of the caloric intake of your, of your dog, and then basically, based on that, give them treats right how many calories if, you know if they uh, are using like i don't know let's just say they're eating like uh 2400 calories 10 percent of that 240 calories you can give them 240 calories of treats every single day uh for their training i hope this insight will help figure out this math don't get puzzled though coyotes will all uh, are always be here uh with you and if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us on social media we're always more than happy to answer them. By the way, if you have any, uh, a moment, your product review would mean a world to me. And so this way, you see, uh, this way, by educating, by providing value, uh, you can actually even ask, you know, as a reciprocity bias works, right? You can even ask for the review on the third party side if it matters to you. If it doesn't, again, drive them to that, uh, to that uh, Facebook, Facebook ad um, post that you have, that you're running. Uh, on Facebook ads in your uh, Facebook, you know, the in in the in the Facebook manager. Now, fourteen days uh, in, you want to hit them with this one. Uh, basically, what this email contains is exactly what I wanted to show you here uh, about the Facebook ads, right? So let's say that was the third party uh, third party site. This one would be Facebook ads, right? So the doc, the the brand, right? We would love to hear from you, tell your story, uh, and win something, right? Again, that's what I'm talking about. You want to always want to incentivize people to do something um, in exchange for something, because reciprocity works only like this. You give something, you get something. It it doesn't work the other way around. So hi Daniel, I uh, would love to hear. Sorry, we would love to have you share a comment on Facebook post about how your recent purchase have improved your and your pop's life. An image, a video, even sentence means the moon uh, to us, right? We would love to hear from you. The best part, we will automatically we will automatically enter you into a draw to win a pumpkin spice soft chewy treats worth sixty-five dollars. You see, that's how you incentivize people to comment on the Facebook at um post and if you're stingy about it if you're like oh my god i'm gonna lose money you dumb because <laughs> well you like you literally can make so much money with like your ad your that 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 facebook post that you're running uh, as an ad on your on, on facebook or whatever you on instagram doesn't matter right because it's just the same almost the same platforms i mean owned by by facebook anyway you will make more money because the social proof will be higher and you'll make more money like logically just Again, e-commerce is all about numbers. If you think if you're not willing to spend money, well, I don't I don't understand like why you're doing this business anyway. So, uh, again, we're um, giving away this in this example. We're giving away this treats for dogs uh, worth sixty five bucks. 
that's a pretty good incentive here, right? Uh, so yeah, that's that. Social media links, mm, amazing. Wait for days and um, ask them for the third email, final email, and uh, that's like will hit in a four days after they receive this one. And basically, what it is is again product review uh, on some thirty site or whatever it is, right? Uh, product review on some third party site that you care the most uh, or anything like that, right? So thank you. Hi, Daniel. Daniel here. I just wanted to reach out and make sure you're loving, absolutely loving Creator Streets. As you can probably tell, uh, we take the job of helping uh, you improve your doc's performance on training days as much as possible. This year, we have a great, uh, you know, we have a goal of helping as many docs and pet owners as possible while giving to back uh, to community if there's any problem with your treats or something we should change our, our ingredients quantity or anything uh, that is important or you th you think this is important don't hesitate to reply to this email i just don't look forward to helping you can see later i right so you want to like personalize again i always recommend sending uh basically i recommend setting up this like culture within your company where people your customers right know uh what this um who this email comes from or what this email what this email comes from who this email comes from <laughs> doesn't matter <laughs> uh it doesn't make sense actually but yeah who this email comes from that would be uh that would be the right way uh the right way to express that i'm already tripping up right now <laughs> uh so yes so i gently look forward to uh helping you further with your doc training if you have a spare moment a five-star review recommendation on the sales below would help us so much right so that thing okay there's no incentive here but still you, you kind of hit them up with this offer in if, if they greatly right this is the last email in the series and if they greatly love your product if they really truly love your product or um maybe didn't like something again guys the, the negative content um we let it out here right if there's any problem with your with your treats or something we should change in our ingredients or quantity or uh or anything else Thing is important don't hesitate to reply to this email basically what you're going to do here is you telling them if there's any problem reply to this email but uh if you want to leave a five star review go to the site and leave it so that you don't have this like negative comments on this third party sites and that you you know get only positive feedback and again i'm not saying the negative feedback is bad but negative feedback um i recommend you know recommended to keep within emails and kind of like uh give uh, you know accepting it um going through it and improving your product this way but you know keep it keep it out from uh third party sites where you just sorry guys uh my camera just cut out but basically what you're gonna do there uh with uh with um with this third email is yeah you 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 send them basically uh the you accept the feedback right you accept the bad feedback uh into your inbox but the positive feedback you want to go in want to drive onto the uh those third party sites right or uh to your you know like instagram page uh to your facebook page right and uh do it like this actually i want to tell you uh, also pretty good way to get the videos uh into your you know into your uh instagram instagram feed because they, those really work uh very well what you're gonna do what you can do is you can incentivize people to uh shoot the video testimonials with your product in exchange for a hundred dollar refund but well, that would be like so be, yeah you, you kind of like paying for the testimonials but again as i said guys yeah you're paying like you spend me like a two thousand bucks for 20 testimonials but those 20 testimonials will make you so much more money that you could have imagined because again social media does not have cost and you can get as many eyeballs as you want on those posts as well so guys that being said i want to wrap this up this video that was daniel lit and that was the you know the basic like overview of uh product review flow and uh email customer thank you flow right and so that said i uh want to wrap this up this video and i'll see you in the next one where we're going to be talking about the upsell purchase and how to how to upsell and how to cross sell and um is that really important i'll see you there